Hyperlinks are a way of jumping your presentation to the internet, to different slides within the presentation, to email, or even different documents. They can be added to any object in your presentation. To show how this works, we'll select some text. Please click here to visit the website and we'll add a hyperlink to that text. Now we can use right mouse click to hyperlink or we can use the insert menu to hyperlink or we can use the insert hyperlink icon button. There are lots of things available in this dialog box and we'll come back to a few of them as we go through the session. First off though, we've, see, we've got existing file or web page. That's what we're going to link to, an existing file or the web page. At the top it says link to and text to display. That's the text that we've actually got selected in the presentation. If we want to change that text here, then it will change it in the presentation. So it's not really very useful to change that, otherwise you wouldn't have written it in the presentation in the first place. So I'm going to leave that as it is. But across here on the right hand side is screen tip. You know when you hover over a hyperlink on the internet, you sometimes get a little word or two pop up to describe what that hyperlink is about. It's called a screen tip and this is how we can set one in the presentation. Click on the button and then we can type anything into this box. Please visit my website. And click on OK. So that's what the user will see when they hover over the, uh, the, the text here with their mouse. Now we need to tell the presentation to jump to that website and there are a few different ways of doing this. We can either click in the address bar at the bottom and simply type in the web address that we want to go to. We can use this icon here, browse the web, which actually opens up the Internet Explorer or whichever browser you've got currently connected um, and allows you to navigate around the Internet. When you find the site that you want, you leave that page on the top click back into your presentation and it will insert whatever page is current into this bottom bit here. Quite useful. But I already know where I want to link to. It's a page that I visited recently, so I'm going to use my browsed pages. That's basically your internet history. So I'll click on browsed pages and find the site that I want to go to. There it is. So I'll click on there. Once the information in the bottom of the address bar, click on OK. So let's run the presentation and see what that will look like. Here we are, we can see we've got a hyperlink there. When I hover over it, it says, please visit my website. That was the screen tip that I put on. And clicking the link should take us into the internet browser onto that particular web page that we dialed up. Closing the web browser returns us to the presentation. So I'll just end the presentation now with a right click. And there's our hyperlink again in the document. If I right click on that hyperlink, then you'll see at the bottom we can remove the hyperlink so it disappears altogether, or we can edit the hyperlink. Again, that basically takes us back into the insert dialog box. It's the same dialog box for inserting or editing. So I'll just close that for now. The other option that was there when I right clicked was open. So I just click on that again, right clicking allows us to open the hyperlink, hyperlink, which actually means use the hyperlink, jump to that web page. So you can see we've got a document piece of clip art here. And what I want to do now is add a hyperlink to jump us to a particular document on the computer. So I'm going to select the document, insert a hyperlink. And we're already on existing file or web page. And I can use the normal browsing techniques and open folders to find the document that I want, but it's here. I'm linking it to a PDF document and then click on OK. Simple as that. So it says, please click on the document to see the syllabus for ECDL Advanced PowerPoint presentation. And we've added that document to the image. So I'll run the slideshow and see where that works. There's our picture hovering it over it. I didn't put a screen tip in, but it shows that it picks up the hyperlink if you don't type anything in. Clicking once on there takes us into the syllabus, the PDF document. Closing the PDF document takes us back to the presentation 
and then we can continue running that presentation. That's very useful. For example, if I was running a presentation about advanced PowerPoint, I could be delivering my presentation. Then I might ask the question, has anybody not seen the syllabus? If some people say they haven't seen it, then I can click on the link and quickly show them the syllabus. If everybody's seen it, then I needn't use that link. Okay, I'm going to select the word, please click here to send an email to have a look at the next bit. Again, insert a hyperlink. Remember, always look around. What else can this dialog box do for you? So we'll quickly run through some of the options. It can link to a place in this document. That's where you can select any particular slide in your document so that you don't have to run the presentation sequentially. You can use links to jump to a different slide. You can even link to any custom shows that you've created as we looked at a little bit earlier. So a place in this document is really very useful. And we're actually going to come back to that in the next session as well. You can create a brand new document. Perhaps you're giving a presentation to a group of people and you decide that you need to start a new budget. So you can click on this link, which will open a spreadsheet for you, and you can start editing that spreadsheet. But the one I want to look at is email address. You can put information into here so that when you are running the presentation, you want to send an email from that presentation. You can just click on the hyperlink and provided you insert, provided you've got a, a, an application for running email, then that will open. So we'll have a look and see what, what happens there when we run this slideshow. You see when I hover over, um, please click here. It's now got a mail to link. The top one was please visit my website. The bottom one was uh, a link to a document. This has got a mail to so that when I click on that link, it opens up my email client with the email address that I'd fed in and the subject line that I fed in, which allows me to just type my email and click on send. I don't want to save that. Go to the presentation again. Perhaps the idea of a couple of these hyperlinks would make more sense if I remind you that you can save presentations in different formats. For example, you could create your presentation with all its hyperlinks and email links and save it as a web page that then can go on your company intranet or load it onto the internet so people can use it as a web page. Hyperlinks then are a lot more useful. So that's hyperlinks, a way of allowing you to jump outside the normal sequential way of running a presentation.